Audacity, version 3.0.2, will be used for this tutorial. The five main settings on a compressor that affect voice audio are attack, ratio, release, threshold and makeup. Five compressor settings for dialogue. Modify these generalized settings as needed to achieve the most natural sounding voice. Attack, 1 millisecond. Anywhere from 1 millisecond to 10 milliseconds with 1 millisecond being the fastest. Recommended setting of 1 millisecond and modify this setting if you need to. Ratio, 3 to 1. Anywhere from 2 to 1 to 5 to 1 with recommended setting of 3 to 1 and modify this setting if you need to. Release, 180 milliseconds. Anywhere from 10 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds with recommended setting of 180 milliseconds and modify this setting if you need to. Threshold, minus 25. Initial setting of minus 25 dB and modify this setting prior to applying compression to the audio. While playing audio, adjust threshold to where the gain reduction dB meter will read somewhere between 2 dB to 7 dB with recommended target between 2 dB to 4 dB. For voice, threshold will usually end up being somewhere between minus 20 dB and minus 30 dB. Makeup, zero. Initial setting of zero dB and then modify this setting prior to applying compression to the audio. While playing audio, adjust the makeup to reach a volume of minus 12 to minus six on your digital audio editor's volume meter. Note, if your compressor has the ability to set a knee, set knee to soft knee above zero, somewhere between one dB and six dB with a recommended soft knee setting of two dB. Recommendations by different audio engineers may vary as to what they consider to be the best compressor settings for voice audio. This screen provides general recommended compressor settings to enter in your compressor somewhere within these general recommended settings to whatever settings will achieve the most natural sounding voice. Settings will vary from audio to audio because recording situations vary from recording to recording. Try to adjust to settings that provide the most natural sounding voice. When used correctly, compression will even out the low and high volume in the audio making the audio sound not only louder, but better. This is a list of a general range of settings to stay within along with a recommended setting to start with, and then modify that recommended setting to start with, if you need to. You can use Audacity's compressor or use a compressor plugin. There are several wonderful free compressor plugins, such as Reacomp by Reaper and TDR Kotelnikov that work with Audacity. This video will provide demonstrations of both Audacity's compressor and the TDR Kotelnikov compressor. TDR Kotelnikov Compressor is available as a free download at the URL shown on this screen. Regardless which compressor you use, the five main controls you will manage in the compressor of your choice will be attack, ratio, release, threshold and makeup. First demonstration will be the use of Audacity's compressor and following Audacity's compression demonstration will be a demonstration of the TDR Kotelnikov Compressor. The following is a basic demonstration of how to use Audacity's compressor. First select the portion of audio which you wish to add compression to. Since we want to add compression to the entire audio file, click on select, then all. And now the entire audio file has been selected. Next, click on effect, built-in, Compressor. Now, I will open a preset, previously created and saved, that most closely matches these recommended compressor settings recommended earlier. By clicking on Manage, User Presets, My Preset. If you like, you can add these settings to Audacity's compressor and save the settings as a preset as a good starting point to compressing your audio and change these settings as you feel necessary. After you have entered the compressor settings, to apply the compressor settings to the audio, click on OK.
That is how you use Audacity's compressor. Following is a demonstration using the plugin TDR Kotelnikov compressor. An advantage to using a compressor like TDR Kotelnikov compressor rather than Audacity's compressor is that you can adjust the compressor settings in real time as the audio plays. First open up TDR Kotelnikov compressor by clicking on effect. VST TDR Kotelnikov To learn more about what each control does, click here on this question mark and the question mark turns orange. Now you can place the cursor over the controls for an explanation of each control. To remove the explanation of each control, click again on the question mark to turn the question mark back to a white color. Also, a manual is available by clicking on the gear wheel, help, and manual. If you decide to create a custom preset or modify the settings in one of the presets provided by TDR Kotelnikov, these are the settings I recommend you use. Before creating your own custom preset or using one of TDR Kotelnikov's custom presets, to make sure you are starting out with default presets that have not been previously modified, click here. Choose Factory Defaults. Then click on Defaults. Now I will open a preset created earlier by clicking here on the Manage Presets and Options button. Then choose User Presets and then select a previously saved preset, named My Preset. If you want to, you can freeze frame this screen by clicking on the pause button to copy these settings into a custom preset you can save to use as a starting point when compressing audio. One of the presets provided by TDR Kotelnikov entitled Vocal Bus Tight sounded so good when used with voice audio that I simply use the Vocal Bus Tight preset to start with and then modify any of those presets if I need to. If you want a good starting point, either the Vocal Bus Tight or the Vocal Bus Warm are two great presets provided by TDR Kotelnikov. Once you have a preset of compression settings you like, then your compression settings will stay the same unless your recording environment or recording methods change. There are many factors that determine compression settings that vary from person to person and recording situation to recording situation. Since I like how this preset, Vocal Bus Tight, makes the audio sound, I will use this Vocal Bus Tight preset provided by TDR Kotelnikov to apply compression to this audio file. Prior to applying compression, you need to adjust the threshold to create an approximate 2 dB to 4 dB reading on the gain reduction dB meter and adjust the makeup to minus 12 dB to minus 6 dB on the Audacity volume meter. First set the threshold level by starting to play the audio and adjust the threshold level until the gain reduction dB meter reads somewhere in the range of 2 to 4 dB. Too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. And then adjust the makeup. To adjust the makeup, you start playing the audio and adjust the makeup until your audacity meter shows the audio peaking between minus 12 dB and minus 6 dB. Too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. Will Rogers. As volume is raised when adjusting makeup, the audacity meter shows yellow, then orange and finally red, with red signifying clipping. Be sure that no orange or red shows in the audacity volume meter when you are adjusting the makeup. Next, select the portion of audio you wish to compress. I want to compress the entire file, so I will select the entire file by clicking on Select All. Next, click on Apply.
Now you have applied compression to the entire audio file. Thanks for watching. Please check out our website, opportuno.org, for more items that may be of interest to you. Thank you.